Hey guys, this is Chaos FX back once again. This time I'm playing I Divine Cybermancy. Uh, this is a fun little first person shooter, buggy as hell, so I wouldn't blame you for not wanting to get it at full price. But um, it is a heck of a lot of fun, a lot more than I thought it would be. And basically, it's a kind of tactical first person shooter tactic ish, I guess I should say. Down in the bottom right hand corner, you see the yellow bar is energy, and everything uses it. Just regular jumping, running around, uh, super jumping using cyber implants. It's kind of like Ghost in the Shell, the video game, done right. Um, or at least attempted. Like you'd see here, there's a cop on my hacking menu over here. I could just kind of be like, you're gonna be my friend now. The hacking system is a little contrived, but it works. You just gotta be persistent. And if you do get hacking, it turns out to be like the best skill in the game, so. Let me see where, uh, where my friend is. So they start you with these little turrets. They're just, you know, half life turrets. <laughs> they go a little nuts when you're holding them, they start firing. So just like Half-Life, you can do the funny carry the turret around thing. They try to discourage that by making your aim go all over the place. But yeah, you can see my first mission here is to hold this area, so I'm just going to put the turrets out here and let them do all the, the dirty work. So, we've got my turrets. Um, there's so many missions. This one I actually don't think you can lose. I don't know what they're trying to break into, but I've never seen them break into it. Werewolves. So anyway, uh, there's some cool stuff you can cloak. Cloaking makes you uh, makes all the AI reset too, but it, it's really good for getting away from stuff. You have some some armor. Uh, you can summon allies. You can summon a big old ally here, and they're kind of dumb, so I always tell them to go hunt because that gets them away from me and keeps me from taking a lot of damage. So I'd like to show you more exciting stuff, but this takes a while, so I'll just talk about the game. Um, there's kind of a weird storyline. It's cool enough. Uh, weapons are free. You just need to have them unlocked by paying some money for some of the bigger ones, like this one, or uh, just going in here and saying, "All right, well, I'm gonna take uh, you know this gun," and it, it increases or decreases your speed depending on what you're doing. So the ammo for this gun is extremely light, my strength is extremely high. Oh, you have like a stat screen, let me bring that up. So you get stats for your character, you can, you know, bring all that up and have some fun with it. Uh, you have these little cyber implants, oh thank god the mission's done. Okay, so now I get to show you the actual fun stuff, running around and uh, getting myself killed all over the place. So I, I recommend the light layout for this map, but uh, you can see there's a hacking console here, it's like, and there's one that's like 115 meters. Well, once you get your hack skill up, you can hack from like forever, so I just go over here and hack both of them. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna hold off on that. These guys are beast. I should not be fighting them in light armor, I should come back, but let's do this. So there's always a squad to take out somewhere on the map. Actually, that's why I brought this pistol. Not good. Oop, ran out of energy. So, without energy, you're pretty weak. You want to be very careful what you do. But this is a cool little like mini sniper magnum. Great for light layout. Heal yourself, you have this annoying healing needle, you have to hold on to it. Cloaking is excellent for getting away from enemies. There's a kind of a three way battle going on in there, so that will help my cause. Where did you? I saw you. Did you go back inside? Yeah. 
Uh, it's a good idea to keep an eye on these guys. They're special forces and really, really strong. Alright, so one of my mission objectives was to kill all the special forces, which is good because I'm done with that. And you'll see everybody else is kind of weakling in comparison. So I can switch back to a uh, little machine gun here. Which is out of ammo. I'm glad I was firing at something that can't fight back. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, so um, I like to just pick the running layout for this particular map because you can just book it everywhere. And you have a sword, but melee is kind of ridiculous in this game. The hitboxes are all funny. Once you learn them, it's easy enough, but the sword is really overpowered. Um, there's a little trick where you can get rid of your healing needle if you need to heal on the go really quick. Every new healing needle you pull out is fully charged, which is good because healing needles take forever. So we'll go ahead and recharge that real quick. Uh, see some of the missions here. Destroy the transcom. It's always one in the map somewhere. Hacking. I never did do the hacking, so we'll go back and do that. Uh, you've seen me hack individuals. I hacked that cop earlier. That's like normal hacking that you, you have to do. It's pretty difficult. You make sure that they don't backhack you because there is a chance that they'll just melt your brain. Uh, but that's really not a big deal in this game. You have... Um, let me hack these real quick. And my hacking skill is just too high to deal with these tiny consoles. I'm used to hacking things that you know outright kill you constantly. But uh, when you die... Um, I hate that menu, it won't close. When you die, you can get these fatal wounds, and they minus stats permanently, which turns out is not a bad thing. My friend has like 50 or 60 of these, and his stats are all really cheap to level up, so I should maybe consider dying on purpose for a little while. Uh, you can ignore this headshot. Uh, one of the glitches I was talking about, I jumped into a multiplayer game and lost a level 44 character forever. So back up your saves if you decide to play this, or else you might just decide to quit because it is very annoying to lose like four days worth of work I mean like four weekends worth of work but anyway the uh, so there's some trainer maps out there. there's a cool farming one that you can use to just go ahead and get your levels back up if you lose them all so it's not a terribly big deal but yeah once you learn the levels you just rush through these and the main reason to do these is uh, this is just a multiplayer non-campaign is because you get incredible amounts of bounty for finishing these levels. And guns don't work well at melee, which is kind of dumb. Uh, even, you know, you'd think it would be barrel size or something like that. Nope, every gun doesn't work at melee, and so you can get your butt kicked if you get close to enemies because they don't seem to suffer from that problem. So it's just you. Uh, and I'm throwing my objective around the room here. What do I got left? I have to destroy the transcom, which is right over here. All the maps are fairly intuitive. They're not too bad. And blocking is really cool. It blocks all incoming fire, but it costs you your energy, which you use to run around and do the maps quickly, so not always a good idea. My friend leveled up jumping and everything, so you can just jump up to there. I'm so jealous. But uh, I'll get that eventually. Um, in this game, ladders are kind of funny. They're slow. It's got a lot of stuff from regular Source games. You can probably tell it's a Source game. Anybody who's familiar with Half-Life series and all of them, more specifically, like Sven Co-op and stuff like that, since it shares a lot more with those. Uh, it is a game where you can throw bullets out, so be aware. I mean, I know bullets are technically free, but 
just pressing reload all the time lose you a lot of bullets and since you have to go back to one of these ammo crates in order to get more it's a good idea to not screw that up but yeah so I highly recommend this game especially if you can find it on sale because it is uh, just a great time wasting game I haven't had this much fun with the game in a while You have uh, cool abilities like this targeting one. It makes me super accurate. So I just won't miss from here. Ah, I totally lied because I didn't turn it on. But anyways, so super fun. Check it out. It's a fun game. Talk to you guys later.